Alright everyone, welcome back to Haunting Ground. You. Um, we're moving on to Ricardo now. I turned that off right. Hey, look, it resets. That's kind of funny. What happens when you look at the statues? Nothing. Are we outside at this point? Looks like we're outside. Anyway. <laughs> he was like, what the hell is wrong with you? So yeah. Huey. Moving on. Come on, Huey. Uh, so yeah, there are a few things we need to check out with Ricardo. Um, his area is so short, though, that there's really not that much to investigate. <laughs> though Ricardo is one of my favorite stalkers, mostly because, um, if you guys know of Sarah, who is something lacking on um, YouTube, you'll know she has quite a crush on Mr. Ricardo. So I have a lot of fond memories of her playing around in his area. So uh, I'm going to change my costume. Change clothes. We'll do... do this one. I like her being barefoot. It's in my head. It's all about good. Huey. Okay, my sound's still there. I didn't know who it was. He was our friend. <laughs> you wanna do that to you? Oh, okay, we can. I was about to say. Come on. Come on, Huey. This door is locked for now. Um, I did read online, though, that, um, these weeping stones have, are supposed to be a reference to Clock Tower 3. So, I don't really know about that. Come on, Huey. I don't know why I went up here Go. first. There's a nice item in the middle of this hallway. Which Huey just found, because he's a good puppy. Where's your good puppy? Good boy. Where's your good puppy? Good boy. I can't good good boy him right now because uh let's do this. Yeah. And this area here we'll be using later. And I'm gonna be making a comment on it. Okay. So, um yeah. There's really not much of a downtime between Danielle and Ricardo. Since we have nowhere else to go at this point, we need to go find Ricardo. <laughs> Did not work. I think the door opens that way. Huey. There we go. Miss Fiona. It's not cleaning time anymore. It's shooting time. Back up, Huey. <laughs> He's right behind the door. <laughs> Bye, Ricardo! I love his music. Did I already lose you? I don't get retarded, Ricardo. Come on! Did I give away my location, maybe? Oh my god! Don't let Ricardo scare you. He might have a gun, but he's pretty retarded. Come on. Come on. Except for, like, stand over there with the door and be like... I'm not gonna walk in here, I'm just gonna shoot at you. Are you freaking... <gasps> Your Stop shooting Huey! Huey! Are you freaking stepping the thing? My god. And we all like to joke. Oh, come here, my poor puppy. You got Good shotted. Boy. I hope you're okay. I didn't mean for you to get shot. Okay. Oh my, the floor fell out. Why is this room in such a state of disappear? The other room's not. I don't know, Fiona. Hey look, there's an item. 
There's something inside. Okay. So there's only a few times in the game where they're hidden like that. We've already found two of them. Go Huey. I don't really think there are too many other ones. Anyway. We like to joke when Ricardo falls through the floor there that they were just lazy and forgot to Stop. cut scene. Stay. And now Ricardo usually leaves us all. We're gonna go ahead and do this bit because it's rather annoying. And then on the way we'll probably run into Ricardo anyway. So that's when we'll go do the bit in the Iron Maiden. We have no music right now, but it's probably because of all the homunculus staying around, scratching at their heads like they're crazy. Because, well, they are crazy. How convenient. Two babies always fall from the ceiling there, and sometimes they respawn. <laughs> Whereas they'll fall from the ceiling again. Come on. I do like though is that as you change your um, equipment, it will change in the cutscenes as well. It's like what? What do you want me to do? There's a thing on the door and the thing and oh my god! Aren't I mad? Rawr, rawr. Yes, let's run from the babies. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and save. Just because we can. Why not? I mean, seriously. Why not? Moving on. I like to get items that are readily available. Camille. Okay, come on, Huey. Huey. This area here, the red hallway as we like to call it, is what is also known as super babies. These homunculus children take two backstep tackles to kill. And there's also a random amount of them in these hallways. Sometimes you'll find one in every single one of these doors. And sometimes you'll find them in one. It really just depends. Sometimes it could be that it's on normal mode or hard mode. But, I mean, I've done it on normal mode and found a bunch of babies. And I've done it on hard mode and found, found one. So, I mean, it really just depends. Come on. It's another thing that about this game that is actually random. That is very oh. rare to come about. Ricardo likes to show up in this area sometimes. Go, Huey. Yay! I don't know how the hell you would actually know that that was there. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna open up this gate just for the hell of it. Okay. I wanna read the comments, because I heard him making sounds for comments earlier. And there were com ones that I had never heard before. No, and Ricardo is telling me, blah blah blah. <laughs> what? Not even that stopped her. What is she? The maid from hell? Come on, she has to have some kind of weakness. What, what can it be? Here we cut wind of something again. I think that's the um, archer thingy. Oh, okay. She was just commenting on the two rooms. Okay. You. Come on, Huey. Now we go back the way we came, and we're probably gonna run into some babies because they're still there. But our Huey's pretty good, so hopefully he'll save us from them. There's never sound in this hallway, so it doesn't mean that Ricardo's coming, but it could possibly mean that Ricardo's, Ricardo is coming. <laughs> Come on, Huey. Yeah. 
There is also a certain point in Ricardo's area where he just won't show up anymore. I'm going to go ahead and save again. Because again, this part can be a little dangerous.